Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're going to introduce you to a grape called Primitivo. Primitivo is a grape that's a major player in the southern Italian wine region called Puglia. And Puglia is the actual heel of the boot. So when we talk about Italy looking like a boot, this is the actual heel on the southeastern side of Italy. But that grape is originally not from Italy, and its real name is Krylenik Kastelanski. Almost sounds Polish, but it actually comes from the Illyrian Peninsula in a place that is modern-day Croatia. Now in Puglia, we turn Primitivo into mono-varietal wines, like the one we have here, or it's blended with grapes called Negramaro, or Malvasia Nero, in the case of Salice Salentino. But on its own, it produces a fruity, mildly acidic, but robust wine. But the Italian brand is a little different than wines made around the world from the same grape. In Italy, Primitivo tends to be just a little higher in acidity and have a little more balance. Think you've ever had a Primitivo before? Well, let me ask you this question. Have you ever had Zinfandel? If you've had Zinfandel, you've had Primitivo. So Primitivo, when a DNA test was done, guess what? It is the exact same grape as what we call in the United States Zinfandel, or the Croatians call Krlenjak Kastelanski. But as it's grown in different areas, it takes on different personas based on how the, the terroir is, the, the wind, the sun, the rain, the soil, all those things that impact how it grows. So let's dive into Primitivo in the southern Italian appellation of Puglia and see just how it presents itself. So this particular wine we have today is from Acanto, that's the vintner, and it's a Primitivo DOC level from Puglia. So if we take a look at this wine, First thing that we'll notice is around the edges, we have a beautiful, vibrant purple color, very Zinfandel-esque. If we swirl to liberate some of the aromas, what leaps out of the glass is almost like a candy apple type flavor. It almost smells sweet. And we notice some other sweet uh, type of uh, fruits in the glass, things like cherries and plums. Uh, but overall, we smell a very sweet persona coming out of the glass. Very deceptive because Primitivo obviously is a dry red wine. So let's go ahead and taste it. When it crosses the palate, it takes on exactly what I had mentioned before. When it comes in the front of the palate, the first thing that we notice is a very um, beautiful ripe cherry uh, flavor. Then mid-palate we get that big acidic lift. Uh, it kind of uh, lifts the wine and allows the tannins to kick in on the backside. And all the way through we have just a little bit of a peppery persona as well. So when I think Zinfandel and I think Primitivo, they are very, very similar. However, the Italian brand, which is Primitivo, is just slightly different and slightly more acidic. Now, what would I pair this with? To me, Primitivo is one of my favorite wines to pair with saucy barbecue food. So don't think uh, like southern U.S. barbecue or we're smoking things all day. Think uh, uh, more like Tennessee barbecue or North Carolina barbecue where we're using sauces. So when I think pork ribs in a tomato barbecue sauce, I love a Primitivo with that particular meal. So I'm going to enjoy a little, more, a little bit more of this Poulian specialty, and I ask that you come back next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time. Mm -hmm.